Now, the poster that I had is that, um, like we said, if patients have diabetes or hypertension, say for a number of years, especially on controlled diabetes or hypertension, they can have a vascular dementia, a syndrome very similar to carousel. And there is a very, um, it's supposed to be the silent epidemic of the 21st century because we have so many patients who are uh, who have these diseases hypertension diabetes smoking hyperlipidemia and so on and people are living longer lives therefore their likelihood of developing vascular dementia becomes very high the only issue there is that when patients are being studied in their 70s it is very difficult to differentiate what is what that there may be a contribution from Alzheimer's disease and from the vascular dementia. So it becomes a very difficult point to differentiate. Whereas Cadacil may serve as a, um, a genetic model for studying vascular dementia without uh, the adulteration of any other disease, since these patients are younger and have much less risk factors as compared to somebody who is in their 70s. And there is a growing uh, body of evidence on development of lacunes and white matter disease and how they co contribute to cognitive impairment in general population. Um, and since Cadacil has a similar pathology, there is again uh, increasing studies that show that, uh, that that are looking at the relationship of the white matter disease and development of lacune. Uh, and the development of lacune seems to be a key event uh, in the progression of pathology for both Cadacil as well as for vascular dementia. Uh, lacune is just a small uh, fluid filled cavity in the brain. Uh, it, it could be anywhere between 3 millimeters and 15 millimeters in diameter. Uh, if older individuals are scanned, it is often considered to be an incidental finding. But more and more studies are looking at the contribution of these lacunes or these small fluid filled cavities at cognitive impairment. So we looked at 39 MRIs that we had in our natural history study uh, for Cadacil, and what we really found was that unless the white matter lesion load reaches a specific threshold, uh, those individuals really didn't have any lacunes. Uh, and uh, especially the white matter lesion load in the periventricular areas and the subcortical uh, areas, unless they, that reached a particular uh, threshold, uh, lacunes did not appear on an MRI. So the question that uh, is raised is whether development of lacune is like a next step. Uh, in the progression of disease and uh, whether that represents a change in the uh, uh, cerebral hemodynamics uh, and heralds the onset of cognitive impairment. This is speculative uh, on my part and it requires more studies uh, to actually uh, support that hypothesis but that's one sort of conclusion that can be drawn from uh, this particular study.